Hello all, Micromunch here and welcome to my first FM19 video. Get some admin out of the way, Messiah Complex, I think we all know it wasn't going very well. We all know I wasn't particularly enjoying it. We were going to have another season of fishing in the top four but not winning anything. So for the minute, or probably for the rest of the thing, I have cut it. We, If it is requested, we will do an episode where I run through what happened in the rest of that final season. Uh, apologies, I didn't get to finish it properly. It's literally just one of those things, I just ran out of time. FM19's come out and I just want a fresh start. And we are going to have a fresh start. With Southampton, it's been a while since we did a Premier League team. Last year we did West Ham. This is obviously just the beta. And today it's just going to be a run for episode because I haven't even touched the game yet. So I don't know any of the new features, any of this, any of that. I mean, obviously I read up about them, but I've not used them yet. So let's have a run through together. First off, I'll have a look into my emails. And so obviously saying Southampton, hi, a Munch's manager. Oh my God. What is that? God, I've, I'm looking pasty. What's with the eyes? That's that. That's apparently my 3D model of my face. I, I'm not seeing the similarity. Uh, let's attend the meeting and see what they want us to do then. So they want us to play possession football, attacking football, sign young players for the first team and use the youth academy. I'm absolutely fine with that. Uh, so I don't feel the meeting's required for that. And they're very, very happy with that. Good, okay. Delay the meeting with my assistant manager to the afternoon because he may not be here because I'll probably want to change around some of the staff. Obviously we're replacing Sparky, Marky Hughes, who's got a wonderful record in management. Uh, oh, a tactics induction. Oh, I'm going to take the tactics induction. Let's go for it together. It's time to talk tactics. To begin with, you'll be given some options. Yeah, okay. So, overview. Right, okay. So, we have to play possession football and attacking football. I have my own kind of idea of what I want to play, which hopefully should do both. So, obviously, we want to go for one of these attacking ones. I'm thinking either control possession, tiki taka, or vertical tiki taka. Um. Let's go vertical tiki taka. So it's more as you. Oh, this is cool. You've got like little screens here where you can see. So it's more about moving it vertically rather than when we just go side to side to work the opening. We have got quite good players in the team. I do like look at wing players as well, but I want to control possession at the same time. Yeah, we'll go with the vertical tiki taka for the time being. Choose a formation. Uh, da, 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 da. Hey! We'll definitely be using that. I think we might start using the old. Should we start using the old West Ham formation? I think we should. Uh, let's choose that one then. That's good. I like the fact you can do stuff out of possession now as well. This is this is good. We've got bits to work with. It looks really different this year. There's in possession, transition, and out of possession. This is going to make it a lot more tactical, a lot more like my kind of my kind of gig. I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy this. So tactics wise, we're definitely going to try and play some possession football and maybe a bit of a wing player. I quite like wingers. Uh, in Football Manager, so I will figure something out, and we'll come back to that in the next episode where we're going to have sign new players and have a and have an idea of how we're going to play this season. Okay, well we got rid of a few players on loan then. So Sofia and Bafal has gone, Harrison Reed, Guido Carrillo, God knows what they're doing signing him. Um, okay, so we've got some decent-ish players uh, that have gone. I want to know how much we've actually got in the money, but we'll come to that in a minute. Really got... Is that Ryan Jaidi? Ryan Jaidi is actually our youth team coach. Amazing. Now this is what I was really excited about, was the training side of things. So initial pre-season schedule. If I go normal... I want to improve the sharpness and the team cohesion. Oh my god, that's so cool. It shows you what it does. We will go tactical because at least it increases some of the sharpness, gives us some team cohesion. I don't know though. I want the players to be happy. We're going to go technical actually. It's good technical because we are going to be all about being a bit technical this season. We'll, we'll buy in some more physical players, but for the minute we're going to go technical. Uh, but this is really cool. I like this. This, this is a lot. Right, so I think naturally now we have to have a look at the squad. Uh, we're going to clear the selection so there's nothing throwing me off where we are with who. So in terms of goalies, I think Angus Gunn is probably going to be our number one only literally because he's a bit younger and he's got obviously four-star potential. So we want to unlock that as much as possible. We're all right for central defenders. We haven't really got a standout option. I don't really want my Yoshida being one of my standout uh, defensive options. Bednarek is potentially a good player. Wesley Hoot, I imagine, is quite decent and he is. Um, so you're going to play Vestergaard, Hoot and uh, Bednarek. I could always play Ryan Bertrand there, but I think he's very decent as a left back. And then obviously we've got Cedric as a right wing back, which is going to be absolutely perfect. Jack Stevens is also worth a mention. He's a very decent talent. Midfield is really where I need to get it. If we're going to be playing possession football, we're going to need players that can actually keep on the ball. I know that Pierre-Emil Hoiberg has just got all the talent in the world. He looks so good and he can play anywhere. So... He's definitely going to be in there. Mario Lamina, very decent as well. Uh, Aurora Romeo, if we want to play a bit more defensive. Or Prowse. We've got some really good players, actually, I have to say. The, the more I look at the score, the more I think we're actually right. The only place I think we're actually going to struggle 
is up front. That's literally the only thing. But with Danny Ings now, Charlie Austin can get you goals when you need. I am actually going to take Sam Gallagher off of the loan list because I do feel like Sam Gallagher can get us some goals while he's here and I have an interest in keeping him here. Uh, I'm not bothered about having Gabby Adini here. I don't particularly... Obviously, I think maybe it's a West Ham ones, but he used to score against me all the time. So I don't really like him. Um... <laughs> But I look at this team and I think we're very decently mid-table Premier League team. We just need that little bit of stardust that's going to make us amazing. And I'm not sure really what it is that we need. Maybe an outstanding centre-back. Maybe a reliable centre-forward. Because Charlie Austin, Danny Ings uh, get injured all the time. Sam Gallagher's too young. Gabby Adini is hit and miss. And Shane Long is Shane Long. So I'm having a look at the transfer budget here then. We have £32.9 million, which is quite decent. If I think if I sell Gabby Adini as well, you add maybe an extra £15-20 million pounds onto that, and suddenly we are looking in business, and that should maybe get us one really, really big player. Let me know in the comment section what you think that we need. I personally think that maybe another attacking midfielder, a centre-back, or a real good out-and-out centre-forward that's going to get us 15 to 20 goals. Uh, my aim this season is actually genuinely just to stay up because obviously this is so different compared to other football managers in terms of the, the depth of tactics they go into, the training. Uh, so I'm going to struggle, I think. I always struggle at football manager games to start with and then as it gets older, uh, probably just before the new one comes out, I suddenly become alright at it. Although previous series would kind of show you that I'm not. You may be wondering what my profile is like. I based it on Southampton's reputation and I've gone for myself being a very attacking and, ta and tactical coach. Uh, so basically I don't need to sign any other uh, coaches that are really good at attacking. Apparently Neil Warlock has a great opinion of me which is interesting because I really don't have a very big good opinion of him. <laughs> Sorry Neil. Okay here we go. This is what I wanted. The training induction. We have excellent training facilities. Six coaching staff. I need more than that. Let's take the training induction and see. Oh, and you can move them into different aid places so they help them retrain their... Ah, that's very cool. And notice that they're set up into attacking, defensive, and goalkeeping. Okay, this is good. Oh, wow, okay. Players that are asked to work together in mentoring groups might pick up personality traits from each other. Okay, I really like this, is that you can put them into groups together and then they'll learn from each other when they do that. I really like that. You get individual training ones, which is good, and how they're getting on. You can have rest days, which I like. Okay, and here's the coaching. So this is what uh, the board. I've no concerns about the size. Of I've got two separate coaching bits available, though, as I can see from up there. So first thing I'm going to do is go and hire some staff, uh, which I might run through in the next episode. But we don't usually tend to run through these things. But that is amazing. I'll let the staff set up the individual training for youth squads, but I will handle the first team. I think that's probably the best way to go. Your training ratings. Wow. God, they really have changed, haven't they? Look at this. I love it. I absolutely love this. This is terrific. Right, I'm going to have a play around with this then in the background and everything before the next episode. I'm going to start setting up some training schedules. We'll get some groups together. Very, very exciting. Let's see what our, our schedule looks like then. So, oh, good. It, it gets so easy. Our first game will be at home to Manchester City. Bloody hell. Talk about back. We've got United as well in the fourth game into the Premier League season. I can already see a big crucial game against Huddersfield at home. Three games in. That could be a massive game. Bloody hell. Yeah, we are finish, uh, expected to finish in 10th, which is maybe about, about right. I don't know. I think it's harsh on Fulham and Wolves that they're down that low. They've got some excellent teams. Although Football Manager, as you know, is not a true reflection of real life. We have really got it all to do here. Right, I think that will cut it for this episode. It's just like a kind of short introductory one, just to say welcome to the new series. Uh, I'm going to try and get through this as, um, this bit as soon as possible so we can get to the start of the season, have a mess around with everything, try and get my bearings on where we are. This will be the main series of my channel. Uh, Football Manager is the game that I love the most. I know I've had a lot of varied ones coming out at the moment, um, but I think that maybe... It's kind of throwing my audience off a little bit. And it's throwing me off a little bit. I think the best way to do it is this. I'm going to try and get a Football Manager video out five days of the week. Monday to Friday. Uh, and then FIFA and PES videos will just come as and when they as and when they do. Uh, depending on what time I have. But this is going to be my main series of the channel. Uh, and it will be the main game of the channel. Because I love Football Manager. And I'm already absolutely buzzing about how good this game looks. Thank you so much for watching the episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, then please do like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you come back for episode two where we'll kick off our season against Manchester City at St. Mary's. Until I see you for another episode of the Southampton Save, stay cool.